Hey everybody, Dustin again here with the WebEx Devices team. And today I'm super excited to give you kind of an early preview and go over the new templates feature that we have uh, coming for devices in Control Hub. Now, what are templates? Uh, kind of to make a, a long story short, um, the templates feature is going to allow you to create some predefined set of configurations and rules that you can apply to a, a device or even a group of devices um, to kind of give them all of the values that you may typically have or that you want to give for a particular device or a subset of devices. Now, this is particularly useful because you may have as an organization uh, a set of um, you know, uh, configurations or things that you want for your entire org or that you want for a small set of, of devices in a particular area or location. Um, a lot of different reasons that you may want to have, uh, you know, kind of a predefined template for various use cases. And that's exactly what this feature is going to allow you to do, allow you to easily set, kind of save this configuration um, template, if you will, and be able to assign it um, as, as needed or whenever you want to, to a particular device. Now, this is, um, again, a, a, a feature that's in beta. And there will be some changes and some improvements made to it. We'll kind of talk through that um, as we go along. But I wanted to kind of show you the concept and how it's going to work today. So that way you can prepare or test it if you're a beta tester um, just by going to beta.webex.com and signing up for the RoomOS uh, beta series. Um, you'd be able to kind of test this and play around with it too and provide some feedback. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So I've logged into Control Hub here, and uh, because this is a device feature, we're going to go over here to our Management tab and go down to Devices. Now, in here, you're going to see a new tab at the top, which says Templates, and obviously, that's where we're going to go. And we're just going to kind of go through this so that way we can demo it and give you an idea of, of how to create one and maybe uh, give you a better sense of how it's going to work. So let's go ahead and create a template. And I'm going to call this one for this demo Room and uh, Linux enablement. And so this is gonna be the title, it's gonna be a unique name. I'm just gonna give a description here is to enable room analytics, whoops, if I spell it right, for devices. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Now, this right here is kind of where you set and choose the configurations that you want to do for this template. Um, I can drop down here and you can see that this is the uh, information I have for it. Um, but I have the ability to kind of filter here and I can filter, you know, for uh, configurations that are specific, uh, specific to a ser series or a, a set device. So if I only wanted to do something for, uh, you know, APIs that are on a board 55 or a board 55 S, um, I could select those. Uh, one thing to say here is this is basically just going to filter out the APIs that are available for that device. It's not telling you that you want to have this template only apply to a board 55, for example. Um, so, you know, this basically helps you kind of narrow down a filter as to if you wanted to see, um, you know, what APIs are available just for your DX80s and DX70s. Um, it will only list and filter out the APIs that are available so you're not trying to set APIs that um, don't exist on that device. It's okay if you do, uh, if the device does not have that API. So let's say I do want it for, want it for all my desk series, I could select those um, and it would show me ones that are on the desk pro, for example, but not on a DX80. I can still do that to the template and apply that template to uh, various devices. It's just if that device doesn't uh, recognize or have that particular configuration, um, then it would just be ignored. But it does allow you to kind of filter down to a specific device. So you know, another great example would be the Codec Pro because it has a lot of features and functionality. You may just want to have it only show to kind of make sure that in your list here, you're only seeing uh, configurations, APIs that are uh, relevant to that specific device. But in this particular case, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and we're doing the room analytics. So I'm going to do room analytics. Uh, and I'm going to go here to like the room analytics noise, uh, ambient noise estimation uh, interval. Um, this one has a default value. Uh, I don't really need to change this one, but if I did want to, um, you know, I, I could change the value. But I'm going to go back here to the higher level. Uh, you see we have kind of our, our tree here. But the mode for this by default is off. So I'm gonna come in here and I wanna change this to on. 
And then I'm going to come back to Room Analytics. And you see here that that one has been changed to on. Uh, people count out of call. I want that one to be on. Uh, the people presence detector. I'm going to change that one also to on. So you see here now that I have got these um, set and configured. Um, and then I'm also going to, uh, I think that's it for this particular one for the room analytics. That's the only thing I'm going to have turned on. Uh, and I'm going to hit next. And then what you're going to see now is kind of a, a review of this template. So this is basically telling me all of the configurations that I have uh, set up and the values that I'm, I'm changing them to. It also gives me a list of all of the devices that uh, this configuration would apply to. So for one example here, the people count off call, um, it applies for the BOR55 and then 18 other devices. When I click on this, um, it's gonna basically tell me uh, the number of devices that I have as well as the list of devices. And then also tells me um, where the, the configuration is not supported or the value range is not supported. So um, this right here is gonna let me kind of figure out what devices I have and where this isn't going to actually apply. So as you see here, I've got this available. Um, you see that people presence is um, more available on more devices than the ambient noise estimation mode, for example. I'm gonna go ahead and create this. And uh, this template was saved successfully. Um, and sorry, you couldn't see me do the save because of my little uh, my pip here on my, uh, let me move this, I think I can move it real time. Sorry here. There we go. I think I just got moved real time on this. Um, so everything was um, down here on the right. Um, but now it's going to tell you how you can apply your configuration template. So you can select your devices through the device configurator. Um, you can choose your uh, template configurations, and then you can apply your template. So I can close here, or I'm going to go ahead and just say go to devices. So there's two ways to do this. I could do it from a bulk uh, settings uh, type of, of uh, deployment. Um, so let's go ahead and kind of demo that. So let's just say that I wanted to go ahead and select all of my devices. And just by doing uh, like I would any other type of bulk configuration, I can just hit my edit. And you'll see all the devices and the room types I have available here listed in my selection. Um, I can individually change these configurations. Um, so I could go in, uh, do the same thing I did with the template, select the room uh, analytics features, the three of them I wanted to change on, and apply them that way. Or if I had an easier way to do it, or I had a bunch of configurations that I do on a regular basis, I can come in here and I can do configuration templates. And you'll see in my drop down, there's my room analytics enablement telling me what features I have and the values that will be changed. I hit next. Again, telling me all the devices that these values are actually going to be able to affect. And then I'm gonna hit apply. Now, the great thing about this, because it's configuration, is the device does not have to be online. If it is online, um, it will get the configuration changes uh, very quickly. Um, if for some reason um, it is offline, it will just be uh, ready and that configuration change will apply when that device does come back online. So you see all three configurations were available. All three were a success. Um, and then if I go here, you'll see that there were no errors. So this is basically telling me that uh, all the devices, you know, or at least were a bit available and ready to receive this um, uh, uh, configuration. And of course, um, you know, if I did have errors, I would see them there. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I have now applied that, uh, that, that template. Um, I'm also going to go here and go to one of these uh, actual devices. We have a board pro here. Now this one's offline. When you go into the device, you're going to see a new um, configurations area here. And on this one, you're going to see um, both the regular configurations, but now you're going to see the configuration templates. So same thing here, if I wanted to do this individually to a device, I can come here, select the template, room analytics template, hit next, apply. And then you'll notice here, it says this device is offline, the changes will apply once it goes back online, but we do have a success that all these configuration changes in the configuration service um, are available. And I can close that out and I'm good to go. Now, 
One question that has been asked about these uh, templates that um, you'll notice that is not really applying here is right now there's no way to kind of have a default template to have for whenever you onboard new devices. And when you apply these template, they're not persistent, meaning that I don't, uh, I can't not apply a template and then have it basically assume those settings and those settings are going to be there, uh, you know, persistently throughout Um the template is just a one-time kind of application of these settings. So it's something to keep in mind that just because you apply a template, um, someone could go back and manually alter back that configuration, um, or they could go and you know on the device itself and make a change. If you do, that change will happen and that change will, will persist. So there's no enforcement of these templates today. Um, Still, a much easier way for you to be able to kind of do bulk configurations or uh, a number of configuration changes on a device or series of devices without having to go through each time and select every one. So if you do have a lot of things like the room analytics and you want to be able to kind of do it on the fly as you, you know, create new devices, you'll be able to do that. Another thing to mention that could be uh, an enhancement that we're exploring and looking at would be you know, to kind of check and see a filter to see like what devices may have these templates applied or um, what devices are following the configurations that are on this template. Um, so that way you can check to see if a device is, um, you know, actually, uh, you know, has been changed and you're not aware of it. Um, you can kind of go back and, and check and see with that template to say, um, hey, you know, is this still following this template or, or has someone went and changed these uh, settings? And of course, through your um, uh, reporting um, and troubleshooting, you can go back and see who actually made that change as well through logging. Um, either way, this is going to be a, a great feature, um, and it's something that uh, has been asked for a lot, and I hope it makes administration of your devices a lot easier. Um, as always, we'd love to hear some feedback, so uh, sign up for beta at beta.webex.com. Uh, provide your feedback there as we continue to fine-tune this feature. And uh, of course, if you have any questions, um, just comment down below. We'll answer those uh, as soon as we can. And as always, um, just subscribe if you want to continue to uh, get these little snippets. But uh, appreciate your time and we'll see you next time.